do you have a specific question about the the tests uh like doing like the testing for the view model it's uh, like uh, that way that uh, should be done or or there is some specific that i need to take in consideration for doing it yeah ideally i wouldn't test i i wouldn't make my view models convert an api response into the the view model into the view data i would do this in the service as we just did and i would test the service doing the mapping correctly in the view model i would do conversions like if there is a recipe let's see the properties if you have like a date here and you need to convert it to a user presentable date or you have a greeting like oh yeah. hello kyle you would do this in the in the view models like these data transformations from a model into what the view needs to render so data formatting maybe you have a decimal in your model and you want to present this to the user you can do this conversion in the view model into a That's string a, yeah that the can calories. be rendered on the view model sorry mike which one yeah the color is there it's it's a it's an integer right so i assume you can yes. say you know like 100 cal <laughs> yes like, like this is the place where you add the cal uh suffix so you have 100 for example 100 calories but what are you going to show to the user maybe it's 100 oh yeah. right so this transformation from 100 to 100 call string so from integer to string will be done in the view model so you can have like a view model a recipe view model for each cell so each cell is populated by a recipe right so each cell is for one recipe and you can have actually one view model per cell as well with the properties they need so here it needs a maybe a url for the image and it also needs um maybe you're going to show calories here you will have calories but instead of being an integer here will be a string because that's what you're going to be rendered in the label and you can do any formatting you can do like 100 call calories and add an emoji to say like oh it's low calorie or it's yeah. high calorie or it's like a red emoji or a yellow or a green emoji like it can be done here what else you need a title here as you can see like this recipe here in the ui the ui needs an image a title it doesn't need calories it doesn't need description it doesn't need chef doesn't need url or tags right so you can start separating because what the model is providing here is not exactly what the view needs and then you have a view model as an adapter layer in the middle they will convert yeah. from a recipe into what the view needs and then you can write tests for a recipe view model conversion there's already a recipe view model let me create one underscore just so there's no conflict let's say you have your class test class recipe view model tests see test case you have a recipe view model that will init with a recipe recipe then you can write tests here test need on recipe so first you create a recipe Re recipe you can pass the properties here so the test will be very simple i don't know id is irrelevant i don't need id yeah so, any so ID. anything any id title we need title yeah and calories um I don't know we don't care about in this case so what we do so let's say 100 and description any description the description the chef we don't need a chef name here so no do we need an image url yes so let's ask for a url HTTP any url.com and tags we don't need tags empty there's a lot of values here we don't care about in this test yeah 
like any description. So we can create a helper method here. It is details that we don't care about. Make recipe factory method, where we only require the data we care about. Exactly. What do we care about? We care about the title. So we ask for a title. And we pass the title here. We care about calories. We pass calories here. And what is the other one we care about? URL. We pass the URL. Here. URL. Now we can focus our tests in the things we care about. Title, the calories, the description. No, we don't care about description and the image URL, which we call just URL. That's it. What is wrong here? Uh, I need to bang in the URL. Right. Now we can create our view model. So this is our system under test. Yeah. We created with the recipe. So set up. If I have a recipe with those details, what details should I have in my view model? I mean, I can assert here. Assert equal that the SUT dot echo is equal to the recipe dot title. This is the first one. If you say equals empty calories equals empty and URL. It's optional, the URL, because in the model here it's optional. Should it be optional? What would happen if you don't have a URL? Does it show up a placeholder, maybe? No. I didn't change in this case. Yeah, maybe it shouldn't be optional. Let's keep it for now. Like this, but it's important to model your models. <laughs> yeah. If a specific the interface you need, like if it shouldn't be optional, it shouldn't be optional there. Otherwise, you need to deal with optional chaining and wrapping all the time. So here, let's just say URL with a string any URL.com. To run this test, I expect it to fail. Let's say if it fails. So the test for the view model is pretty much like pure functions. Yeah. Input, output. Input, output. You give it some input, the recipe, and you expect some output based on this data. And this should be very simple. You shouldn't have to read from a file to be very simple. Okay, failed. And here we can just set the recipe title. This one is not very interesting, but now the calories, I expect the calories to say something like calories and the recipe calories should be. Yeah, we need to have a string. 100 calories. Light. Something like this. If you run the test, now we should fail. Yes. So we can pretty much hard code it here. 100 calories light. And then you can add the logic. Maybe if it's above 300 calories, you should say medium or high, you know, high calorie and so on. So all this kind of logic of transforming a primitive like integer into something that is human readable, that passes some information to the user in, through the user interface, you do it in the view model. And you can test one by one. You test it with 100 calories, with 300 calories and so on. And each one will have a different implementation from low calorie recipe. Then you can have a 
high calorie recipe. <laughs> Can you expect, I don't know, say 500, say high. Make sense? Like it should be a very simple test in the view model side. You can test these it's very fast. Create a recipe with a specific uh, data that should trigger a different behavior. And you test all the transformations here. Yeah. You can also have like how level of spiciness, you know, is a common yeah. one as well. You can test that. If the spice level is like in a scale from zero to 10, if it's 10, it's like crazy hot. You can also do it like here. But this is dependent on the presentation logic you have in the application. But you can test this. And this is usually what I do in view models. The view models are very simple. They transform data. This way, the view controllers or the, the cells don't need to do it. And you can test it in isolation. <laughs> 